Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Spectator Sportscast. Ellie Schultz here with Nick Scott and Maniva Alam, uh, men's soccer beat writer for Spectators, filling in for Brian Barber today. We're here with a very special guest, Henning Zauerbier from the men's soccer team. How are you today, Henning? Very well. How are you? Good. How are you guys, Maniva? Nick? Yeah, doing well. Happy to have my uh, great teammate and good friend, uh, Henning, on the show. So, uh, first off, I guess, um, Henning, um, you guys had a nice win yesterday. What are, your, what are your thoughts on your season so far this year? Um, in men's soccer. I mean, I think the good part about it is that in men's soccer you always have two seasons. So mm -hmm. it's basically the conference and the non-conference. And the good thing is about well, the non-conference didn't go too well. Mm -hmm. So or now we have to focus on the conference, the Ivy League. And now we're one and one, so there's everything in there. Mm -hmm. So we just have to keep going and keep winning. And um, I guess so far this season, what do you think personally has gone well for you? And uh, what have you been working on? I mean, we actually kind of make some adjustments because Wilson the Mattis, who was our forward last year, was kind of the guy, the main target up mm -hmm. top. So he's missing, so we kind of had to change the formation, the lineup and everything, and kind of find a new way how to score because basically an essential part of the attack was missing. So mm -hmm. that was like what we were working on, and we scored the last four games, so it's going well right now. And mm -hmm. I think we have to like, keep working on that, and then it looks good. Nick, sound about right to you? Yeah, I think so. Um, like Henning mean, said, um, we're going to try and focus on the Ivy League. Mm -hmm. We've got a nice win, um, nice win this weekend, and a couple of other results went our way. So I think we're in a good spot, um, and hopefully Henning and I can uh, muster up some, some more goals. And, uh, yeah, we had some good chemistry last season. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Every, goal, every goal I scored was basically assisted yeah. by him. So. All right, <laughs> keep doing that. Hopefully I'll have good chemistry today, too. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, I guess uh, a little bit getting to know you as a, as a person off the field, too. Well, I guess on the field a little bit. Um, you were on the uh, 2007 U17 uh, German team. You played in the... 2007 World Cup in uh, South Korea. Could you talk a little bit about that experience? I think it was probably one of my best soccer experiences so far mm -hmm. in my life. I think it's like a big thing. First of all, you played the European Championship where you had to qualify for the World Cup. So that was like a long time. I mean, you had to qualify for the European Championship and so on. Mm -hmm. So the kind of thing, the whole thing built up for like a year or something until we finally got to South Korea. Mm -hmm. I mean, then there, it was so super professional. It was like a real World Cup. We had Mm -hmm. huge stadiums, a lot of people were watching, it was on TV, it was like everything you can imagine. We played, I mean, I can give you a lot of names right now who are professional players I played with, mm -hmm. who are like even on the real national team right now in Germany. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just like good memories. We finished third, which mm -hmm. was a very strong result. And I think like the whole thing, it was four weeks just living a different life, I guess. Mm -hmm. And being um, obviously from Germany and coming over here to play soccer, do you feel like it was a sort of different style of play over here that you have to adapt to or did you sort of settle in more or less straight away? Um, no, I guess it was a, it's a different style. Maybe. So obviously it's a different, different sort of standard and style of play from the FIFA World Cup to the Ivy League. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's always, it's always adjustment, it's always different, but I guess America in general I think soccer is more physically over here. So like whereas in Germany and at the World Cup and everything we focus more on technical abilities and like more tactical. I think mm -hmm. here's like a lot more strength and the guys are super fit right now. I mean, everyone here is just can run as mm -hmm. much as like anyone in the world. So it's like very good. I mean, it was definitely an adjustment. It's different and it's a different style of play. But I think at the end of the day, it's like still soccer. So if you're a good player, you can play on every team basically. Mm -hmm. What about adjusting to life here in general? I mean, I'm from Germany, so my English, I think Scotty can remember. Uh, my English wasn't that good when I got here. So like my first phone calls probably like were the hardest. I remember like I think my longest phone call in the beginning was like with Scotty at some point, like five minutes or something. Uh, super proud. Um, <laughs> so that, that went well. Um, I mean yeah, that was like a big thing, just like communicating like on the field as well. I mean uh -huh. you have to like, kind of get the vocabulary going and everything. So I mean it took it took a while, but my first season here was very successful. Like I got the Ivy Group of the Year, so that was like a per personal highlight. So I think it was like a very quick transition, even though there were some obstacles. But the team is great. The coaches did a good job. So overall, it was a very nice transition. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned your uh, your accent a bit. How did that uh, did that help you anyway with the ladies? Maybe freshman year. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. A little bit. <laughs> you can always play. I mean, you're from England. I think yeah. you have like a, a little advantage over there too. But yeah, I mean, the accent is always a good mm -hmm. thing. I don't want to lose it. 
So, yeah, so just for the just for the ladies out there, are you in a relationship at the moment, or are you uh, are you taking my? <laughs> no, I'm 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 taking. I'm in a relationship uh -huh. for over a year, or so yeah. I'm kind of serious. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to all the viewers out there. But, <laughs> you know, um, today's just not your day. Anyway, um, I guess uh, we'll recap some sports. Do you want to stick around for that? Is that okay? I stick around for a little bit, of course. All right, I know you're, you're a busy man, too. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, so <laughs> I guess night. other than other than soccer, it was not a great weekend for uh, Columbia Athletics. Um, you guys got looks what well, looks like the only win this weekend, I think. Um, so we have the entire silver lining right here with us. Um, <laughs> football uh, unfortunately fell 35 to 14 at Lehigh. Um, it was a pretty uh, tough game right at, right from the get go. Lehigh got up fourteen zero. Um, yeah, and like they, they they never really got closer than a touchdown. Um, so yeah, that was very tough. Um, and if you want to recap volleyball and field hockey for us, so volleyball took a couple of Ivy League losses three zero to Penn and three one to Princeton, and field hockey fell two zero to Albany, which is nationally ranked. Mm -hmm. uh, I think Al Albany is ranked twenty second in the country right now. And um, women's soccer uh, lost 1-0 to Penn. Um, was that was that the day, same day as you guys, the day before? It was on, um, it was it was on, on Friday, Friday, Friday night, night yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, in men's tennis, they had the Columbia uh, Invitational this weekend. Um, Dragos Ignat got second place in the A draw. Um, he actually lost to another Dragos from Cornell. Um, anyway, and then also uh, the tennis guys also played at the ITA All-American Tournament. Um, Ashok Narayana and Max Schnur got second place in the consolation bracket. Um, so that's pretty much what happened this weekend. What are you guys looking forward to next weekend? I mean, definitely our game against Princeton. Yeah. First Ivy League home game. Yeah. So big, Hopefully we can get a big, big, big crowd out there to uh, Yeah, we would appreciate someone. everyone who would come. <laughs> yeah, really appreciate it. Thoughts as the beat writer for soccer on that? Um, yeah, it should be fun. I mean, going to soccer games is always fun. The atmosphere is unique. But there's a game in the middle on Tuesday against Providence, so that's true. Yeah. Well, are you guys not focusing on that quite as much now that Ivy season started, or? I mean, you focus on every game. Um, definitely, the Ivy League season is the one we have to put mm -hmm. the most energy in because if we win the Ivy League, it's first of all it's like great anyway. But in order to make the tournament, that's like the only way right now. Right. So Providence will be. It's still important. We want to win that mm -hmm. game to like get more less self confidence and then keep doing it during the weekend. Mm -hmm. But I mean, the Ivy League season is definitely the focus right now. And um, football will also be con uh, continuing its Ivy League season um, at Penn next weekend, so uh, another thing to look out for there. Um, and as always, feel free to ask us questions. Um, you can comment on this video, uh, hit us up on Twitter at CU Spec Sports, or email us at podcast at Um If you have any guest suggestions, I know it would be hard to follow in Henning's footsteps, but um, feel free to recommend a guest. Um, and uh, we'll see you next week.